guys, welcome back to my channel. This week's video is my first ever what I eat in a week video. I've never made one of these ones. Uh, so I decided to document everything I ate for a full week, um, including some recipe or meal ideas. Hopefully you guys get some ideas of some things you can cook at home. The week that I documented just so happened to be one of our busier weeks at work. We had a winter launch midweek through the week. So the first half of the week was pretty busy in preparation for that. And so in turn, I probably ate a bit more takeaway or simple foods because I was prioritizing getting lots of work done. We launched our winter collection, which is all this knitwear that you've been seeing me wear in all of the latest videos. I'll put a link below and don't forget you guys can use our YouTube code for 15% off. But that was the first half of the week. Second half of the week, we had a snap three day, three day lockdown here on the Gold Coast, which is again, pretty unusual. So not a lot changed there, but we were basically eating all meals inside. And then later in the week was the weekend and yeah, we ate out lots and did lots of fun things. So you guys will see that inside the video. And I honestly kept this week so realistic. I didn't change the things that I was eating or the things I was ordering purely just to make it look like I was eating healthier or whatever. These days I honestly eat what I feel like. I live without food guilt and restrictions. So yeah, this is just a realistic what I eat in a week video and I hope you guys enjoy watching. So guys, just to preface this video, I'm recording this audio at nighttime and Bowie's asleep. So I apologize if I'm speaking too softly, but we have to do it for the greater cause of keeping Bowie asleep. So let's kick off into Monday's breakfast. So the first thing I did was make a big pot of rolled oats and into my porridge I also added some extra hemp seeds and some chopped up dates. Cooked on soy milk and of course I added some berries because they're Bowie's fave. I'm also topping it with koyo and this is the vanilla one. And then finally some coconut flakes, honey and some more milk. Personally, I'm not such a fan of cooked raspberries, so I think they would be nicer on top, but still pretty delicious. I had my coffee at work this morning, so it was just coffee and oat milk, and then to save me time, I just zapped in the microwave instead of trying to work that coffee steamer. Monday is my work day, so I brought with me some leftover laksa that Alex's brother actually cooked. It had tofu and loads of veg in there and actually really delicious. Because Monday is my work day, it's usually pretty busy, so I tried to get some work done while eating my lunch today. Because I baked these walnut brownies for a recipe, it was a bit of a fail actually, and I still need to perfect that recipe, but I decided to have one as an afternoon snack before dinner. For dinner, we were cooking a Marley Spoon curry, but turns out the curry paste accidentally went home with Alex's mum. So I had to improvise and made my own curry paste from a recipe from my cookbook, The Global Vegan. Alex didn't have much faith in the recipe, but it was honestly so delicious. And he agreed at the end that I did a good job of saving the meal. Tuesday, I started my day with coffee at Highline, my favorite cafe, and I always get an oat milk cappuccino. It's just like this big warm hug in a mug, and it's my favorite coffee shop on the Gold Coast. This morning, I was really hungry when I got home, and I couldn't wait because I knew my breakfast was gonna take a while to cook, so I made myself a slice of sourdough with some smooth pig's peanut butter, and then I added a slice of vegan cheese. It is such a delicious combo, by the way. I was making a baked oatmeal recipe, and I shared it on my Instagram, and that was my breakfast for the morning. I added some Topeka protein and topped it off with Koyo. So yum, I've never made baked oatmeal before, but I can see why it's such a trend right now. And I'm back at work today because it was such a busy week. I didn't have time to pack lunch. So I ordered this banh mi from a place called Caffeine Kings in Miami. I just ordered on Uber Eats and it's one of my favorite deliveries to get. For dinner tonight, we're cooking a mushroom meat risoni. This was another Marley Spoon recipe and it's really handy because Alex can cook it for me if I have extra things I need to get done. Of course, having a glass of red while I wait for dinner. This week we were launching our winter collection on the Wholesome Store. So it was probably one of our busier weeks. 
So while Alex cooked, I sat and did some more editing, getting ready for our winter launch that week. This recipe was really delicious, but wow, that bowl was so filling, so much food. P.S. Have you guys seen Veggio's new melts? They are so yummy and they're designed for making like hot chocolates or baking, but we kind of just find ourselves snacking on them as well. I made myself a hot chocolate with some oat milk and sipped it while I continued doing work. <laughs> Come on, Papa. We're having coffee at home today. Hey, Odie. Yeah. Okay. Come Wednesday, we went into a snap lockdown just for three days. So we had coffee at home this morning. I also made a tofu scramble for breakfast, which is one of my favorite breakfasts. If you guys haven't tried tofu scramble, you seriously should. It's so easy, so delicious, high in protein, and you can just throw in whatever veggies you like. I added some cherry tomatoes and then decided to throw in a big bunch of spinach because I had a big bag in the fridge to use up. I served it over some toast and of course sprinkled with some chili flakes. Alex also picked me up one of these green juices when he got our coffees that morning, so I also had it with one of these super greens juices. I got a bit hungry waiting for lunch to cook, so I heated up one of Bowie's mac and cheese bites. I added a sprinkle of sea salt because his wasn't seasoned and it was super delicious. Then finally my lunch was ready. I had these leftover spinach and ricotta pastries. It's a recipe that I'm working on for my new book. I think it's pretty much nailed. I just need to take the photo and yeah, it was super delicious. Squeezed with lemon juice and chili flakes. Bowie even got to sample it too mm -hmm. and give me his rating for the new book. Okay. He hasn't worked out how to tell me yet, but he thinks it's pretty good. I made Bowie a chocolate smoothie for afternoon tea. It's included in this video because knowing Bowie, I knew he wasn't going to drink at all. So it ended up being my afternoon snack too. Good. Good. Let's not turn this into a straw game. For dinner, we had this pumpkin tart, which was a Marley Spoon recipe. Alex had been working on it all day and it was actually really delicious. I had it with this blood orange sparkling water. I think these are like a sugar-free drink, not a lot of flavor, but still pretty refreshing. I also topped mine with some bio feta. <laughs> Alright Bowie, but it's not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's Thursday and we're still in a mini snap lockdown, so we're having coffees at home once again. For breakfast, I made a toasty. I was actually heading into work today, so I wanted to make something I could take with me and have when I got there. On my toasty, I just had tomato, onion, and cheese. I took it to work and had it, and it was tasty, it filled the spot. And yeah, not much else to say about this toasty. Again, busy week, so I feel like we ate a lot of takeaway this week. We got more Uber Eats and watched a movie on the couch. For lunch, I had these tofu bao and veggie spring rolls from Rolled. And then more takeaway for dinner. Alex went and picked up takeaway pizza from Fancy's. It's Friday. Again, the weeks go so fast. And for breakfast today, I'm having some more of that sourdough with avocado. Of course, dressing it with lots of lemon juice, salt, pepper, and chili flakes. Avocado toast is just so simple and delicious. You can't go wrong. We had breakfast as a family this morning, which is usually quite chaotic. <laughs> yeah, we see you. La, 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 la. Hmm? La, 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 la. It was raining again. It seriously rained all week. And for lunch, we had more of that leftover pizza while we watched a movie. I had been feeling a little bit unwell the past day. I think it's because we had such a busy start to the week getting ready for that launch on the Wednesday. So by Thursday, I was feeling a little bit out of it and needed some extra rest and couch time. 
Friday afternoon, we popped into the warehouse to have snacks with one of our team members because she was in there alone and we wanted to go give her some company and some snacks. But let's be real, we wanted some snacks for ourselves too. I snacked on some apple while I was feeding Bowie and cooking dinner. More red wine once Bowie's gone to bed. And then this was another recipe experiment for my new book. It's a shepherd's pie, a lentil shepherd's pie, and I'm trying to keep it really simple with the ingredients. It was pretty good. I think it's a keeper. I just need to perfect it one more time. And we served it with some dressed greens on the side. We had heaps of baby spinach in the fridge that we needed to use up. And I like to dress it with just some lemon juice, olive oil, salt and pepper. I love to serve it with greens on the side because it just gives you an extra serve of veggies and just some more nutrients really. And here you can see me with my panda eyes and Alex just being his classic self. And it's Saturday and our snap lockdown ended, which was nice because just in time for the weekend, we could head out to our favorite cafes for coffee. For Saturday breakfast, I made some pancakes. This is based off one of my recipes in the Global Vegan, except I was kind of just freestyling things. I wanted to share it with Bowie, so I added some extra goodies to it, such as banana and flax seeds. Um, I probably should have put all the wet ingredients in and blended and then whisked in the dry ingredients But I kind of realized that a little too late So I just blended together and it probably wasn't as fluffy as they usually are But that was still delicious and Bowie loved his so that was a win I cooked them into small little pikelets So it's just like an easy thing for Bowie to grab and we served them with lots of fresh fruit Chia seeds and coconut yogurt and of course some maple syrup on ours <laughs> Really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> <Keep that. laughs> Again, a recipe from the Global Vegan. Wow, guys, I don't normally cook this much from this book. But tonight we were having a curry night with our friends. Lockdown was over and we decided to make the chana masala as well as the aloe jira from my book because they're both so delicious and who doesn't love potatoes alex kind of ruined ours by throwing in some extra hot chili flakes but all in all the curries were delicious we had wine snacks everyone's curries were so yum the rice cooker broke but we got there with the rice in the end and it was a really fun night with our friends we hadn't done something like that with our friends in ages, so it was really fun. Sunday morning and we're back at our favorite Good Day Coffee. You guys, if you watch my videos, you would know that I love this place. It's our favorite place for an avo toast. The coffee's always good and it's just an all-round good vibe. Today we headed to the football to watch Alex's team, the Cronulla Sharks, play at the Brisbane Broncos. For the record, this is like the second game I've been to, so we don't do this often, but it was so much fun and I got to snack on hot chips and watch the game with our friends. It was also Bobby's first experience and he hated it. And then to finish the week, we made this cheesy rice and bean bake. It's so yum and served with some more of those greens on the side. So guys, that is my what I eat in a week. I would probably call this my busy week edition because we did have a really busy start to the week. I hope you guys enjoy watching this video. It's my first time making one of these, so hopefully it's okay. And I'll see you guys in next week's video.